Hello everybody, this video is an unboxing of an Ultimate Lubix Zanshi. I've also got a Lubix Wit 2 in here, but I'm not going to be reviewing that. Uh, I've said forever that I don't believe that having modded cubes is going to make you faster or better or anything like that. And uh, I don't think that they're that much better anyways. And everybody says, no, 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 get an Ultimate Lubix Zanshi. And I refused and resisted, but popular demand said I should, so I have. So I'm going to unbox this. And... Uh, see what it feels like all right so here's the wit 2 I'll put this over here and here is the ultimate Lubix Zanshi now I'm gonna com be comparing it to my main cube which is just a regular Zanshi completely unmodded with half brights on it all right so let's open this up it's a little bit dinged on the box there that's okay it probably doesn't affect the cube at all I will be replacing the stickers for half brights. All right, so let's take a look at the cube. Wow, you guys see that? Let's see if I can zoom in. The corner isn't even put together properly. There we go, any more? Yeah, this one's not either. Anyway, that's not really a big deal. I just thought that you know they would put a little bit more time into building it for the uh, price. Okay, so this cube is also lubed with Lubix, and uh, if you've seen my tutorial on how to assemble and lubricate a Dian Zanshi, which works for any Dian cube actually, it actually works for a lot of cubes, um, it is done exactly the same way. And uh, Donovan from Lubix Cubes even complimented me on that video and said that it was very good and that he would actually hire me too. That felt pretty good. So anyways, I'm going to go on the first turns. Now, I know that this has the 48 edge point mod, and this one does not. And that's what I am, that's the only difference between these cubes. So I'm going to go on to the first turns. And it, and it feels like it's done with Lubix. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of videos of people going, wow, you know, that's so good. Um, and it, it probably is good compared to one that's lubed with silicone spray, but I'm, I'm pretty used to Lubix already. In fact, this one is smoother. My main is smoother, and it's not broken in. Or sorry, this is uh, broken in, though. I haven't broken this one in, but they're saying that with the 48 edge point mod, you shouldn't really have to. You know, it, it should be good. And this is, I'm feeling uh, kind of clunky in there, and on mine, very, very smooth. Um, maybe it has something to do with the tension. See, you hear how loud that is? And that's at this speed of spinning. Now let's try this one. It's it's a lot quieter. It's not so like snappy and you know, but the sound doesn't really have anything to do with the quality of the cube. Um, so let's. I'm just gonna give it a quick scramble here, and um, and we will see exactly if it is better or not. I'm not gonna do anything super fancy or or something. So. I just want to get a feel for the cube, you know? And, um, yeah, it's a, it moves just like this one. I mean, there's, I really can't tell any difference except for this one is definitely smoother than, than this, that one. But I mean, this is broken in quite a bit and that's like, pretty much exactly what I thought. You know, I didn't think that this was going to be too much better. In fact, I think this one is worse than this one. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? Before I make a final judgment on this, I am going to spend a bit of time with this. I'm gonna re-sticker it the way I do it. I'm gonna tension it the way I like it, and uh, then I'll get back to you. All right, thanks. All right, so I've had this cube now for about a week. This is the Lubix Cube one. I, I didn't wanna take the sticker off, I forgot, and I did take it off and I ruined it, so I just replaced it with the Cube Smith so I'd know which one is which. This one here is the Ultimate Lubix Zanshi from lubixcubes.com, and this one here is the unmodded um, regular main one that I have. Um, so I tensioned this and I lubed it a little bit more actually, because I thought that it might use a little bit more Lubix, and uh, stickered it with my half brights. And I have to say, I still prefer my, um, my main cube. I don't know why. I, I know that every cube is slightly different, even though that they're you know technically the same because they come from the same kind of mold and it all, and everything. But you know you start handling a cube for a while and it starts to move the way you want it to move and and you know that's why people have main cubes and things like that. So um, you know I don't I I really don't want to say anything bad about Lubix cubes. 
I just think that modded cubes are unnecessary. In fact, I, I kind of want to face the camera right now and talk to you guys about it. Okay guys, so the reason I kind of stopped that review and unboxing whatever short was because there's not really much more I can say about it. And the reason for that is because the Lubix Cube is exactly the same as my main, except it's got the 48 edge point mod, and that's supposed to reduce the friction on the inside so it's a lot smoother. However, with my main, it's broken in, and it's even more um, smoother than the Lubix Cube. And so that means that the 48 edge point mod doesn't actually make it as smooth as my cube already. What actually makes a Lubix cube really smooth though is the Lubix in it. It's lubing the core, it's lubing the pieces properly. I have a tutorial on that. It's how to assemble and lubricate uh, Diane Zanchi. And Donovan even complimented me on that and said that's exactly how we do it. You know, and that is why Lubix cubes turn so well, is because of the way that they're lubed. Now, to do a 48 edge point mod, um, I don't, I don't, personally see any difference with that done or not that could just be a way to you know say this is why we're selling the cube at this price is because we took the time to shave pieces down I don't know if it really does anything I can't notice it at all and uh, I, I mean all I use is Zanchi's I don't use anything besides Diane Zanchi's and I'm very very experienced with them and I, I just don't notice anything and I'm not trying to you know, take away from Lubix cubes or Donovan. I really, really support Donovan. His innovation has really, really changed how I view speed cubing. Um, now the modded cubes, I think, I think modded cubes maybe are a little ridiculous in the fact that most people believe that if you have a modded cube, it's going to make you faster. Everybody is so obsessed with having the best modded cube out there instead of just getting better. You know, you can still like if I'm a 20 second solver on a regular Zanchi and then I go and get this cube, I'm still a 20 second solver because I'm still the one solving the cube. And it just seems from what I see on the Internet that a lot of people, a majority of people, especially the younger viewers, really believe that if they get the most expensive modded cube that's on the market, that they will be faster. And that is incorrect. If you go from a Rubix brand to a Lubix Dian cube, of course you're going to be a little bit faster because there's no lockups and things like that. But if you're already, you know, if you're even coming from an Alpha 5 and you're going to uh, a, a Lubix Ultimate 48 edge point mod, you know, cube, you're still going to be the same time because those cubes are both great. You know, modded cubes might feel a little bit better. And that might be one thing that is good about them, though, is that they feel better. However, this is a modded cube, and this one is not. And I think this one feels way better than the modded cube. Uh, I heard that there's a center mod that you can do to these. And I know with the Lubix Elite, that's a $100 cube. There's a, you know, there's a few hours put into it, and all it is is scraping away all the, all the, the sharp points, making it smooth everywhere on every piece. And um, maybe I'll try that. You know, I will try that. I'll take a new Zanchi and I will try to mod it how I think it should be modded. And then I'll make a review on that too and see if I, you know, I feel a difference because a 48 edge point mod, it's not really much of a mod. You know, it's not going to make me faster. I think that if you go and buy a brand new DIY Zanchi and you go and buy Lubix, that you can have the exact same results as a cube that you buy from Lubix cubes. And you might not want to have to do that, which is why you buy Lubix cubes, and that's why they offer it, is for people who don't really want to do that, you know, and that's totally understandable. So I'm not saying don't buy Lubix cubes, I'm just saying don't fall for this, you know, don't fall for people telling you that just because you have a really expensive modded cube, you're going to be a faster cuber. What's going to make you faster is your desire to be a faster cuber, to practice, you know, to time yourself, to understand what you need to work on, you know, stop focusing on your cube and start focusing on your mind, you know, um, how it, you know, how you're cubing. That's where the problem is. If you're not getting faster, it's you're, you don't believe you that you can, you know, and until you do believe that you can, you won't. A, a cube isn't going to help you do that. So I really hope that I'm not like sounding negative or anything in this. Like I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just trying to open people's eyes. Like modded cubes just aren't the hype. You know what I mean? Like just practice. 
That's all you need to do is practice and you'll get faster. Just pick it up and practice. That's it. All right, everybody, this video's question comes from Barrack Boys, who asks, if you were stranded on an island and could only bring one puzzle, which one would it be? Please leave your answers in the comment section below. Also, ask a question that I might pick for everybody to answer next week. Please leave your questions and answers in different comments. Last week's question was, what would you put in Oscar's treasure chest or the cube chest or whatever? And here's a bunch of your answers. Now, what kind of review was that? Didn't even have corner cutting, no stickers, didn't do size comparison. That's like worse than a cookie without sugar and milk. Hey, Crazy Bat, did you know that if you took the top pieces left over from the 3x3x5, put them in the top of the 3x3x4, you'd have an unproportional 3x3x4? You should try it. Shh.